Cradle Point's Wi-Fi is WAN feature uses the router's Wi-Fi radios to connect to a nearby Wi-Fi source and use that as a WAN connection for the router. This can come in handy for failover purposes or as your primary internet connection while traveling. Of course, if the Wi-Fi network is password protected, you will need the password credentials before you begin. Start by logging into the web admin interface, otherwise known as NetCloud OS. Navigate to the networking page from the menu on the left. Select Wi-Fi as WAN or client from here. At this point, you can decide whether to enable the Wi-Fi WAN connection on 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Generally speaking, 2.4 will pick up more distant signals, while 5 GHz connections may be faster. We're going to select the 2.4 GHz tab. Then we'll enable the Wi-Fi as WAN connection where it says Client Mode. Click Save, followed by OK. Next, scroll down to the Site Survey section, which is where it should show any available Wi-Fi connections within range. If you do not see any, click the Refresh button. Once you see the network you want to connect to, select it and click the Import button just above. A window will pop up where you can enter the password, if required. Also, if there are multiple access points with the same name, you may select Wi-Fi as WAN client roaming so that the router properly switches between access points as needed. Along with this, you will need to set a minimum link signal strength or RSSI and a minimum survey RSSI. Click save when you're done and OK once the changes are confirmed. Your Wi-Fi connection profile, as it is called, will now be displayed under the saved profiles section. Alternatively, you can manually add a Wi-Fi profile for networks that may be hidden. At this time, we need to check that the connection is working properly. Navigate to the Connection Manager page from the menu. This is where all of our WAN connections are listed. They are in priority order, so only the first one listed will connect while the others are in a standby state. This means they are available to connect when and if the primary connection fails. Unless, of course, load balancing is enabled. Then multiple connections can be connected at the same time. What we need to do is move the connection to the highest priority. Like shown here, simply drag and drop the connection at the top of the list. We'll wait a few moments now while the connections change and the Wi-Fi WAN should establish. There we have it. Now you can repeat the process for additional Wi-Fi connections should you want more redundancy. Thank you for watching as usual and remember, please subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this.